Football season's here. Join us on Auburn Unleashed. I'm Adam Clayton. I'm Jim Patton. And we're going to be having great Auburn guests and going over football season, I guess, a review. Yeah, we'll be reviewing the games, having guests, uh, probably do some from the Letterman Club right there at the stadium. We hope you all all listen to our podcast. And also from the Over the Mountain Touchdown Club. So hope you can join us. Join us on iTunes or your favorite podcasting app. Well, it's Labor Day. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Monday, September 2nd. Probably most of you are not working, but some of you are because you're watching this. Uh, starting off the day with a big batch of storms, but we got some uh, cooler and drier air blowing in here not too far away. Let's go in there and take a look at some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. I mean, who would be awake at that hour on Labor Day? Well, me and the guy driving that truck down there. That's Memorial Parkway in Huntsville. It's pouring rain there at that hour. That's the Haleyville Sky Cam. It's raining there in uh, Winston County. That's Tuscaloosa. No rain as of yet, but uh, by the time you watch this, they will have had some rain there. There's the deal. Pattern changing. Big uh, ridge pumping up in the west. A nice downstream trough in the east. And a cold front that's uh, moving into uh, almost northwest Tennessee early this morning and a nice surge of Cool, dry air behind that thing. Lows in the 40s and 50s over the northern states. And we'll catch a little bit of that later this week, really, for the latter half of the week. Hey, that's what the day looked like when it started. That was 529 this morning. That's a big old nasty batch of storms over north Alabama. Uh, flash flood warnings had to be posted for uh, parts of Etowah and Cherokee and Calhoun counties. Gadsden over Highway 278 down to Piedmont. Radar suggesting those folks picked up over two inches of rain, and that's all dropping south. Of course, uh, uh, it's not going to rain all day. That batch of storms will be moving out, and then more showers could form later today or tonight. Uh, watch warning that pretty quiet, just some patchy flash flood issues up in the northeast and out west. And again, if you look carefully in Alabama, you'll see those darker counties highlighted there. Those are the flash flood warnings uh, issued early this morning. Organized severe weather not expected today. There's the uh, 5% zone on that frontal boundary from northeast Texas up to the northeastern states. And this is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning, but most all of this will be in the next 24 to 36 hours around here with rain amounts of about one inch. And obviously some folks are going to see more than that because we've had more than that in just a couple of hours this morning in spots. Tropics are trying to heat up a little bit. Uh, it seems like the convection has been increasing out in the Atlantic Basin, uh, the guys at uh, NHC have circled the disturbance that's about to move into the Caribbean with a 40% chance of developing in the short term. We note a blob of convection has formed overnight, but it's not organized at all. And even if anything develops, this should not be a Gulf storm. Uh, the uh, uh, tropical models curve this thing north before reaching the Gulf, and that makes good sense. With that big trough forming over the east, it's pretty much going to have to turn north. Uh, there's a look at the ensembles, and uh, one member brings it into the Gulf, but just I don't think that's going to happen. One way or the other, odds are this will not be a problem for the United States, and it's got to go over Hispaniola. It's just going to have a hard time, as the tropical season itself is having a hard time this year. But we'll keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the GFS. This is the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. Upper high on the Colorado-New Mexico border with a ridge extending north, and you've got the downstream trough, and down below that, uh, the cold front, again, should be somewhere up around northwest Tennessee this morning. And uh, the storms we have this morning should uh, die down, and more storms uh, should redevelop later today or tonight. This is the high-res NAM, valid tonight at 10 o'clock local time, and you can almost pick out the front around Nashville and uh, uh, just below Memphis. And in advance of that, more storms are possible. I sure get the idea that the afternoon could be quiet with no rain. And then the next batch of storms moving in here, uh, maybe, you know, after 7 or 8 o'clock tonight, uh, which bodes well if you got something to do outdoors this afternoon. And then uh, tomorrow, this is tomorrow evening, and uh, the, the NAM hints the front is near Interstate 59, uh, with the storms firing up mainly below Birmingham. So... I get the idea tomorrow could be pretty dry for the Tennessee Valley and maybe, you know, Cullman and Hamilton and Gadsden. But south of U.S. 278, there could be one more, one final batch of storms on the surface front. And then Wednesday, the whole northern half of the state gets in dry air. Wednesday should be a nice day. Uh, lots of sun. High should be somewhere in the 80s. Thursday, the same thing. Any showers confined to the southern quarter of the state, mainly south of U.S. 84. 
Around here should be nice, mostly sunny with highs in the 80s. Early morning lows well down in the 60s. Maybe not as cool as we had talked about last week. We talked about lows getting down in the 50s. And I do think the cooler pockets will, but probably not, not everybody. And there's Friday, same thing. We're in dry air. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday look very nice. Sunny days, fair nights, pretty comfortable. But what about the weekend, you ask? All right, this is Saturday. No real change. We note uh, a little wave coming in here, and uh, the air is, you know, not very moist. It might kick off a shower somewhere, but with dry air, widespread rain not expected. Sunday, that wave is on by. That looks pretty dry. Highs for the weekend, I'd say, should be in the upper 80s. And a week from today, Monday, looks pretty quiet. I guess there might be a shower somewhere, but widespread rain not expected. We'll check the end of the forecast on the, uh, and by the way, uh, before we do that, we note that... Uh, tropical low moving away from the Bahamas that would be the system that is now you know moving into the Caribbean and that would be kind of forced northeast on out to sea if that thing can get its act together now the 17th well the westerlies are way up in Canada so no really uh, cool air with that that looks kind of moist and uh, evidence of maybe some tropical feature out around the outer banks of North Carolina at mid-month We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here tomorrow. We're on the holiday schedule, just one today. Back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.